you see the second problem in isometric projection so you can see the question uh, here in two solids given one is hemisphere okay hemisphere of 40 mm diameter hemisphere means it is nothing but the half part of the sphere supported coaxially and the vertex of a cone so the second solid given it is cone so for that uh, cone they have given base diameter 60 and axis length 50 so that means we have to construct the cone first then after that we have to construct the hemisphere hemisphere means half part of the sphere okay now flat circular face of the hemisphere facing upside okay so first uh, we are going to construct the cone here so for the cone the base diameter given 60 okay so first uh, we are going to take the reference line here okay, reference line so here you can see that the base diameter 60 means uh, 60 means we have to uh, do the six boxes here 1 2 3 4 5 6 again here 1 2 3 4 5 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have to construct the uh, six boxes I will say the six box it is constructed now you see that uh, the base part of the cone it is uh, which is given with the diameter 60 means it is in circle okay so when the circle it is constructed in iso it will become ellipse okay it will become ellipse so how to construct the ellipse i will show you. so here in uh, to construct an ellipse we have to go for four arc by centimeter okay first i'm going to mark the middle point of all the edges if it is 60 means exactly you can mark it 30 here okay 30 now i'm drawing the lines here like this arrow lines you can draw here okay so like this four lines you have to draw then after that uh, we have to use compass here okay using compass by measuring this length okay I have to draw first arc okay then again from this point so measuring uh, this length so measuring this end, like this then third point we have to measure this from this point using compass third arc next fourth and measuring again this distance okay so we have constructed an ellipse okay so this is what the base diameter when it is constructed in ellipse it becomes a uh, it is a base uh, part of the cone 60 mm diameter circle converted into ellipse in the ISO. Now we have to find out the center. Uh, we have an axis length, right? So center of the box here. So like this. This is the center of the box. From this we have to consider a axis length of 50. That is 5 boxes. 1, 2, 3, Four, five. So draw an vertical height of here. Sixty. Now we have to draw an connecting tangentially. We have to connect like this tangentially to make sure the surface of the cone has to touch like this. So this completes the uh, cone problem. Now we have to place the hemisphere, which is having a diameter of forty. So 40 means again we have to construct a 4 box here 1, 2, 3 that is 40 mm box means 4 box 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4, One, two, three, four. so it is done
okay four marks in him. again you can see that hemisphere means it is a half part of the sphere so it is in circular so when it is constructed it is a circular means when it is constructed in iso it will become ellipse okay so again i am marking the middle points here in the point of the box Pass. We have to cut the arcs here. Again, from this point, so measure in this length. Okay, so it is done. So now, again, we find out the center of the box here. Okay, from this center point. So how to construct the lower part here from this point to here exactly here we are going to take and then join it like this okay so this completes the problem here you can see this is our 30 degree so this it is cone and this is hemisphere you can see that this flat circular face it is facing upside so this completes the problem so you can you can like the video subscribe and share it that is uh, this on this cone we have the hemisphere so the flat circular face of it it is facing upside so how to do it in uh, solid software i want to show okay this problem Now oh, here, first we have to construct a cone which is having a base diameter of 60. That is, we have to construct a box of 60 by 60 here. Okay. 60 angle 30, again 60 angle 150, again 60 angle 210 degree. So this completes the box of the cube, box of the cone. Now we have to construct so this uh, base of the cone, right? So it is done by 4 arc by center method. So how to do the 4 arc by center method? Just see it from this middle point. So from this corner point to here, the lines we have to draw exactly at the middle point. Opposite end. Opposite end. So now we have to construct an arc shape. We will be taking this length from this reference point. Taking this length. Okay. Till here. Again, we are taking this as a length. Then again, taking this as a reference. Taking this length. So this. Again, this is a reference. We can construct this. So this is how we construct the uh, ellipse. Okay, using four arc by center method. Now we will take the center point to construct the uh, height. You can see that the height we have to do. The height it is given x is 15. So first we draw. Uh, so first we draw the thin lines to find out the center of the box. So from this point, so we have to give an axis height of 50, correct? So it is 50. 
Now we have to join this uh, center point to here. You can see that this symbol has to be tangentially. We have to connect. So this completes the this completes the cone problem. You can see that we have to construct the hemisphere now. For that again, we have to construct a box of here. Uh, 40 mm diameter because hemisphere having a diameter of 40 means we have to construct another box here so which is of dimension 40 so here 40 angle 30 again 40 angle 150 again 40 angle 210 okay so again again same thing from this end exactly middle point we have to join in this corner point to exactly middle point. Okay. From this corner point to exactly middle point. And from this corner point to exactly the middle point. Corner point to exactly middle point. Now we have to construct the lips using our basic point. Okay, from the end to here. Correct it. Again from this end, we will connect it from this end to point, take this distance and draw. Again, same thing, taking this distance, draw. So, this completes the problem. So, now we have to draw the lower part here. We have to take this distance and draw. Okay, so for that, I will be drawing, we have to find out the center, right? Center of the box. So from this point, so we have to draw another arc here. Exactly in this middle point, taking this distance as a radius. So we have to think exactly the middle point. Exactly with the point of design. Okay. So any mistake is happening here. So definitely it is going to affect on our uh, exactly here our design. In this corner point, with the point. Full length so join again. Taking this full length, take it to the length here. This length also you can take. Join exactly this point, taking this whole length. Again, this whole length. So now we have to draw find out the middle point here. Solution. Now another arc we have to draw here. Taking this distance. Okay. So this completes the problem, but uh, we need to convert uh, this problem into ISO, right? 
isometric. So we do that. So select this problem. Go to mirror with this. Go to scale here. 0 0.8123 or 8126 you can give. 